Looking forward to that indeed. Right now, the Sasko Mzanzi bread campaign had South Africa drooling from day one. So what we've asked you over the past while to share your most unique, most creative Gatsby Korta and Bunny Chow recipes with a bit of a heritage story or connection behind it. And we have our winners. They're going to be here on the show. The very first winner in the Gatsby category is none other than Nasika Bajnat, who joins us now together with Leanne from Sasko. Give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, because look at this Gatsby, man. It looks amazing. Amazing. Nasika Leanne, thank you very much for joining us and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Nasika, I'm going to start with you. What was the inspiration behind that masterpiece? Well, my desire to eat. My husband okay, and I. Okay, that was a good start, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've been foodies. I want you to take something old and make it new. Put my Nasika's twist on it. Nasika's and twist. Nasika. Yeah, you're well. I love it. So, so, what exactly goes on to your Gatsby here? Just run us through very quickly. All right. We have rockets for some peppery spice. Which is not every day you see that on a Gatsby. Yeah. Avocado for creaminess. Okay. And we've got chicken and slop chips go well together. Right. We've got my hot salsa chili. Yeah. Bacon for saltiness, pepper dews, spicy but sweet, and mm. the sharpness of cheddar. I love that. So, so I'm going to ask you to start putting it together. Okay. Um, Leanne, you guys got so many entries, thousands and thousands of entries. I almost oh, feel I, sorry for you that you had to go through read every all of single those one of them. Yeah, you read all of them. What made this Gatsby particularly stand out for you? Well, for me, it was really about it's a modern twist to a traditional dish. I mean, have yeah. you ever seen a Gatsby that has rocket no, on it? No, that's the first thing I noticed. It's got rocket on it. It certainly looks just a tad healthier than what you would have yeah, in most yeah, Gatsby's. Yeah. But we just love the way that Nasika could take all of these different ingredients and she has a particular reason why she chose each of these ingredients. Uh -huh. As yeah, you yeah, can yeah, hear, yeah, you know, yeah, twist, now. sweet and sour. So, so she's got a, a, a method behind it and we just love the way she thought and approached the sandwich. Absolutely, and I love the colours of this oh, Gatsby. So I'm sure that, that was very eye-catching yeah, yeah, yeah. when you yes. first saw it. <laughs> but I mean, you had so many. There were so many. Was there anything maybe else that stood out for you? Any other Gatsby recipes that no, really popped? You and I must say, remember, this was a bread culture campaign. So yes. it was about the Gatsby, the bunny chow, yeah. and the quota. Um, we have just come back from the Sasko Soweto Quarter Festival in Johannesburg. Yes, and we've seen some fascinating recipes. So to speak to the quarter, which we'll see later on demonstrate today, we've seen a quarter with chicken legs in it, chicken feet in it. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, yeah. We've seen people take a normal French bologna and grate okay. it, no fry way. it up. It looks like almost fried onion. So we've just seen real creativity in the approach in these yeah. sandwiches. Did you so, expect it, though? Did you expect all of this creative man, coming? Out. We knew that South Africa was colourful, but not this colourful. <laughs> so really, I mean, it's just for us indicative again around um, how passionate people are about yeah. their bread culture. I love that. I love that. Yeah. And, and that's the great thing about this campaign. You can see people really took it to heart and took yeah, it on yeah. board and really got involved, which I absolutely love. I, the amount of conversation that's been had that's around the, these dishes. I mean, everyone certainly has a passion point and a very stern point of view, I might add, absolutely. On, on some of these dishes. So we've just really enjoyed right. not only engaging South Africa, but listening to what they have to say and watching yeah. all of these folk produce I mean, fantastic meals. I'll be, I'll be honest. Um, I mean, Express has been going for nearly eight years yeah, now, yeah. and and we've been doing a lot of food, yeah. but never in my life have we have we focused so much <laughs> on a Gatsby <laughs> or a Quarter or a Bunny Chow. We've never done that, which is amazing. It is a work of art. It's a work yeah. of art. Yeah. This yeah. is a work of art. I mean, look at the crisscross going on yeah. here. Okay, cool. So take us through here. Where, where, at what stage are you? Eighty percent, sixty percent? There you go. Oh. Is that, that is it. My <laughs> goodness. Well, you know what? We'll give you the chance to get your hands on the recipe for um, yeah. Nasika's Gatsby. The keyword is Sasko. SM is that to 33728. I need to ask you, though, how often do you make this? Almost every weekend. Saturday really? brunch is our Gatsby in Sukunda. I, I feel like I'm missing out because I've never made a Gatsby. Nasika lives in Sukunda, so she was telling about um, the really? farm life. I'm putting so. my town on the map. So Sukunda, <laughs> hi Sukunda. people. <laughs> Big ups. That is brilliant. The keyword is Sasko. Isn't that to 33728? Um, this Saturday? Next week Saturday? When, when are we pulling through? Yeah. Anytime. Anytime. I'm looking for a heritage <laughs> weekend. Yeah. yeah, I think we should go and visit. But I mean, come visit Secundo. We'll take yeah, over yes. the town. Congratulations. You're also, uh, as part of your, your prize as your Gatsby winner, you're heading off to Joburg to experience the bread culture yes. there. Really what are you most looking forward to about that? The quarter. Yes. The quarter, I eh? want to do it. Yeah. Great. Have you ever made one? Never. Well, now it's a good so, time to yeah. win as well. Nasika, congratulations, thank Leanne. Thank you very much. We'll see you a little bit Leanne. later on as well yes. because there's still a, um, a bunny chow and, and a quarter, quarter yeah. on the cards. But the keyword is Sasko. SMS that to 33728. This looks mouth watering. Congratulations to Nasika once oh, again. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sasco, baking together since 1930.